And finally, new rule. Someone has to tell me how it is that for most consumer products, there's such stiff competition that a common sales pitch is, if you find this item at a lower price, come on in and we'll beat it. But a knee replacement can cost 17000 in one hospital and sixty one grand in another in the same city. With most products, you as the consumer get lucky and there's no possible way to gouge you like that. And that's when you hear... Since they've been anyone's advertised price, or your mattress is free! That's how capitalism is supposed to work. A weirdo in a bad suit pledging he'll kill his whole family before he's undersold. <laughs> But that doesn't apply to the big ticket items like the Pentagon and hospitals and infrastructure, where everyone gets to wet their beak before anything gets done. And that's why nothing ever does get done. Why can't we help the homeless? If you look around this city lately, you probably are saying to yourself, either the homeless problem is getting worse or camping isn't what it used to be. <laughs> You know, after World War II, there was a huge housing shortage in L.A. when all the vets returned home and had nowhere to live. So the government found some empty space and in a matter of months built Quonset huts for 6,000 people, all for a total cost of what in today's dollars would be less than 18 million. <laughs> well, that was then. In the bond measure we passed in 2016 to build housing for the homeless, each unit was projected to cost $140,000, which is more than the asking price for this four-bedroom Dutch colonial in Little Falls, New York. <laughs> and now that we're actually building these apartments, the cost for each unit has risen to 531 k How is that possible, you may ask? Do they each come with a Lambo and a shark tank? <laughs> of course, they still make those Quonset huts, and one today would cost about eight grand. But it's hard to skim money off eight grand. But 531,000, sure. About 40% of that cost goes to something the city calls soft costs, and I call bullshit costs. <laughs> layer upon layer of middlemen, inspectors, contractors, lawyers, lobbyists, and oh yes, labor unions too. And my favorite, consulting. A lot of consulting going on in America these days. <laughs> Everyone seems to need consulting. Apparently nobody in America anymore knows what the fuck they're doing. <laughs> so we need consultants to come in and be paid to tell you how to do the job you're supposed to do. Oh, and until the $531,000 apartments are built, we're putting special porta potties near the homeless camps, which cost $320,000 each for porta potties. That's some good shit. <laughs> and California finally conceded it needed to scale back our big high-speed rail project because it was costing $200 million a mile, as opposed to France, where building high-speed rail costs $13 million a mile. And it's not like France is cheap or doesn't have labor unions. France is nothing but labor unions. They have strikes like we have mass shootings. <laughs> But what they don't have is this level of systematic graft and greed. Now, Donald Trump certainly represents many of the ills our country has been living with for a long time, but perhaps none more than that America is now scam America. The money should say, in gouge, we trust on it. A vial of insulin costs about $5 to produce and is sold for over $500. Why? For the same reason it costs 8 bucks to get Pringles out of the minibar, because they can. <laughs> Why, if at one Philadelphia clinic they can do a colonoscopy for a grand, does another one in the same city charge four grand? Because the price comes out of their ass. <laughs> There is a breaking point in an economy when the scam parasites kill the host, and we're coming up to that point. So before we finish rooting out corruption in Ukraine, how about we take a swing at it here in America?